Nithi and welcome to my channel Dinner is Served. In today's episode, we are going to make yummalicious, mouth-wateringly delicious kachori. So today's kachoris are called pithi kachoris or urad dal ki kachori. They are very different from the khasta kachori that we see every day. These kachoris that we are going to make today resemble puris but they're not puris they're kachadis and this is a very up style of making um kachadis that's eaten generally with alu ki sabzi and today's recipe is actually a remix version of making these kachadis because we're not going to use urad dal to make them but we're going to use a ready-made vada mix which I will address to you later in the later part of this video but this is a remix version it just takes out all the hassle um, of you know soaking the dal etc and using it this is just my mom's trick to making a quicker version and an equally tasty version of uh, a kachori so let me take you over the ingredients and we can get started you will need 250 grams wheat flour 100 grams ready to mix vada powder, 1 teaspoon ginger paste, hing, red chili powder, coriander powder, cumin seed powder, fennel seed powder, 2 tablespoon oil and oil to fry, and 200 ml of water. We are going to first take a thali and add all of our ingredients together our atta our vada powder ginger paste All our masalas Oil Salt And now we are going to knead our dough and it needs to be a little hard. So we need to add some water. And I'm going to knead our dough and I'll show you what it looks like. So our atta is now ready. As you can see, it is hard. It needs to be hard in order for you to make your kachori nicely. Otherwise, if you have soft atta, then it's very difficult to make your puris, kachoris. Now, we are going to leave it for about 10 minutes to, you know, just let it set. And I'm going to rub some oil over it so that it doesn't form any dry layer on top. And I'm just going to let it stay for about 10 minutes and then I'll show you what the next step is. So I have let my atta rest for about 10 minutes. I'm just going to knead it a little more again and then we are going to make small balls out of it and roll them out and then we will fry our kachoris. Now I am going to take our chakla and our belan and we are going to roll these out. So you need to keep a little bit oil in a small bowl next to you when you are rolling them out. We are just going to dip our dough in little bit oil, coat it a little bit and now we are just going to roll these out. That's 
that's it our kachori is now ready and now we are just going to fry these and taste them so i've taken my wok i've put some oil in it and i've let it heat for about 10 minutes or so or until your oil is completely hot now i'm just going to test Oh, uh, I'm just putting a little small piece of dough inside, and if it comes up, that means your dough is your oil is hot, and you can put your kachoris in. Now I'm just going to put my kachori in, and make sure that you have a plate next to you. You don't want to be hunting for a plate to put your kachori in. Now I'm just going to put it in. It's ready. It needs to be blown up like this, puffed up. It's a perfect shade of golden brown, and this is how it's supposed to be. And our kachoris are ready, and we can finally eat them. So our kachoris are now ready. They look so nice, so beautiful. They're just gorgeous, and I cannot wait to taste them. So I'm eating the kachoris today with aloo ki sabji, but you can eat these kachoris with anything, with achar, with pudine ki chutney, that is the green chutney, or with bundi ka raita, any type of raita. It tastes amazing. And if you want the recipe for the aloo ki sabji, you will have to tune into dinner is served again next week, and you will get the recipe for the yummy and the delicious. Ah, uh, rasay ke alu. And now, without further ado, I'm going to try this. What? Hmm. I need a bigger bite. Hmm. Amazing. Hmm. I love. I love kachori alu. It's my most favorite breakfast that my mom makes. I just love it. And you have to try it and tell me how it comes out. But before I say bye, I wanted to share two things with you. Number one, that the vada mix powder that we use today, that is one of my mom's tricks to just quickly make the kachori without the hassle of soaking the dal and then you know. grinding it and using it just to avoid that hassle she uses the vada mix powder you will get this powder wherever in your local supermarket or your kirana stores it will be available to you and you can use that but if you're not comfortable using that you can always soak the dal and grind it and use it and secondly i missed out while you're frying the puri and you're flipping it then you need to let it stay for about 10 seconds or just count let's say 5 in your mind and then take it out of the uh, pan because the lower layer is thick so it needs a little more time to cook so keep these two things in mind and i will see you next week until next time dinner is served is all about experiencing the joy of cooking thank you so much oh and wish you all a happy new year bye bye thank you so much